South Africa has an incredibly intriguing history that dates back thousands of years. When it was compromised of numerous tribes, this history extends through the colonial age during which it was colonized first by the Dutch and later by the English in the Anglo-Boer War. Subsequently, it was unified under English rule to form the Union of South Africa. Then later on, it achieved its independence through the process of decolonization. In this video of Rise of Nations, we are going to be playing South Africa, reforming the South African Union, and then later going on to form the much larger African Union. We're going to need to fight off some of these colonial powers who are seeking to exploit our soon-to-be great continent of Africa. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. I hope you enjoy. All right, we've loaded into the game now. Let's go ahead and type in South Africa in the text chat right here. Copy that so we can paste it into the search bar once we've loaded in. All right, nice. We got South Africa. Let's go ahead and do our common factory setup, which is two Elex, two fertilizer. We're going to justify on Lesotho and Estuani. Technology, going to go straight into that. Policies, advance the research. Let's check out the leaders. There is no good leaders. Let's check out the generals. We're going to attack general. That's all right. Let's go ahead and pick that guy up. Assign this guy to an army. I want to split the troops the maximum amount. Factories are done. Let's go ahead and sell the fertilizer. And let's declare war on the Zotho and Estuani now. Now that we have everything sold and a lot more money, let's go ahead and make our factory setup. So we're going to do three motor one steel and then on all of these cities we're gonna make civilian and that's our factory set up this game let's also do government spending on max and research spending on max and we're gonna turn off the reinforcements for these infantry i'm also gonna go ahead and buy some oil so we can be prepared for that once we start spamming out tanks just to fight on zimbabwe mozambique we're basically just gonna be just fight on all of the african countries from now on and declaring war on them as well and there's not a single hold up nobody's germany nobody's france nobody's uk nobody's italy uh nobody's okay yep that's uh we're gonna go ahead and restart the game now all right we're back into a new game let's hope the server doesn't die this time and i'll be back once we uh get to our original point in the game of course all right, we've basically returned to our original point, and the only thing I did different this time was I uh, built a mine on our Tungsten City. That's the only thing I did different. Everything else is the same. Come on, I can't form the African Union without the European powers. What's the fun in that? Okay, somebody released all. Who was it? China. Okay. Well, that won't affect our game too much because it's Asia. It doesn't really matter to us. All right, there's all of our factories done. Let's see if we can sell the consumer goods to anybody. India is not a player, so we can sell it to them. Let's up our taxes. Actually, let's decrease our taxes, actually. And we're going to up our military spending. The reason I decrease the taxes is to get a lot of stability game. Now that we have money, let's go ahead and do some tank spamming here. I accidentally just made a unit of infantry. That is not good. That's not what I wanted to do. The leader we got for this game was a head of government, so that's all right. New leader pool. Let's check it out. We got, a head of, we got a head of research plus 15%. Yes, we're taking that guy instantly. As well as a political reformer. Very nice. Very good leader setup we have. We're going to have to fight our own brothers in order to unite the continent because Egypt is a player. Well, actually, Egypt is getting conquered by Turkey. We're going to have to fight a lot of our own. Oh, nice. Mali is a player as well. Okay, we got a lot of African players. And there's also... Europe is also packed, so... We're going to have to fight a lot of players this game in order to unite the continent. That's good. And I'm going to go ahead and build an aircraft factory on our capital. And there is Zimbabwe. And we can form the South African Union now. And what we're going to do now is just go crazy on the rest of Africa now that we formed. Ooh, Portugal's coming down here. Quite alarming. And, and in fact, India is a good target to go for as South Africa. We are rank seven. Very nice. That's what I like to see. Looks like Morocco is already doing some anti-colonialism here. Interesting. They're invading Spain. 
Morocco is the one invading Spain. Usually never see that. It's, it's always vice versa, isn't it? And I'm going to go ahead and develop all of our territory here. Just like that. Let's see how much it costs. It costs 200 million. Yep, we can do that. War exhaustion is on the rise. Let's up our security spending. We got war bonds. Interesting, actually. Wow, 1.2 billion. Okay. You know what? That's going to shoot our war exhaustion up. But honestly, we're going to take that. Corporate dealing as well. Okay. We're going to reject that one, though. All right. We're just going to chill after all of these wars are done because our war exhaustion is shot up. And that's never a good thing. Let's go for static lines. We got deserters. We can develop everything yet again. I'm actually just going to make everything into a capture zone so we can select it always. Name it Dev. Um, now we kind of just chill because we can't afford more wars with this war exhaustion. Probably going to wait until we get some socialism. We did get a billion dollars, so we're going to use that money to just develop anyway. I'm going to mine all of the phosphate mines. All right, we can. We have 250 political power now. We can move over to socialism. You always want to go communism as South Africa so you can take advantage of the resources. Fascism is good too. Democracy just ain't it research intervention that would be a good this would be good to accept i just need to get 25 political power okay we can go ahead and accept it and with that advanced machine learning we are rank five in the rankings we are competing with all of the democracies right now looks like nigeria is also a player okay we got to take out a bunch of our we got to take out a bunch of our own african brothers in order to reunite the continent so sad Oh, it's Algeria. Algeria as well. Okay. Okay, that's going to be our last development for South Africa. I think we are the most developed, aren't we? We are indeed the most developed. We can probably get ready to attack the rest of Africa here. And then we're going to have to move on to player wars because everything after this point right here is player wars. You know what? Let's increase our taxes to see how much money we're making. Because we're rank 5 without taxes, so let's see our ranking with taxes. Still rank 5, okay. I'm going to go ahead and justify on Nigeria, knowing that he's a player. I'm going to assume we're going to be the first player in the game with quantum computing based off of that research event we had. Plus, we went all in on research at the start of the game. After we get quantum computing, we're probably going to max out the tank tech and then go crazy from there. Actually, I don't think we should let him know. Yeah, never mind, I changed my mind. Cancel that war goal on Nigeria. Looks like America is developing simply 52 million income. Okay. That's all right. And honestly, let's see. India is still an AI. It's a good idea to take out India early on, especially as South Africa. Kind of makes you a beast. Especially since we're getting... Oh, ooh. oh, we're taking that. Oh, you already know we're taking that. Get us to quantum computing even faster. We're going to go for economic tech before we go into tank tech. Tax collection one. Going to need to get in some player wars before everybody leaves the game here. Let's see. I think Nigeria already left. Yeah, of course they did. It is now time to start tank spamming though. We get at least 10k tanks before we move into uh, India. So let's go ahead and start just to fight on India right now. Fortification ever. All right, there is our 10k tanks basically. Let's go ahead and drop the military spending because we're about to embark on a journey to India. Server is slowly collapsing and it's not even 2025 yet. Oh yeah, that's gonna cancel our consumer goods trade as well that we had with them. New leader pool, let's check it out. A hundred for this guy. Okay, this guy is better. Basically gives the same amount and he's level one and he's cheaper. So let's pick up that chief of staff right there. All right, the conquest of India begins right now. Let's increase the military spending to maximum. Looks like Afghanistan is taking over Pakistan. And stalwart defense, we just maxed out static lines. Looks like there's a big war going on in Germany, but the UK is allied with the USA. So they're working together. All right, there's text collection five. Let's see if it does anything. I'm hoping it does. Let's see. Okay, it did. Okay, I like that. Average rise of nations argument in the chat room. Okay, India will capitulate soon. There it is. Let's go to and annex India boom nice okay all right we're gonna start going for tank tech now that we have the tax collection five server is gonna die before 2025 looks pretty 
I mean, that's a, that's a, of course that's normal, right? Nobody can last 10 seconds in a server. They need to start indulging in uh, Subway Surfers gameplay and TikTok videos. You know what I just realized? I've just realized at this point in the game that I've been trying to use a naval leader for the army the entire time. I wasn't even paying attention to the yellow name right here. I was... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we're gonna have to go to reduce corruption because we're starting to get corrupt leaders now. A bit of a slower African Union game is definitely not the fastest. I'm gonna go in and prepare to take out the Horn of Africa. Gonna need to use infantry for him. Or Nigeria's allied to Algeria. Interesting. We may we may get a two and one right here then. Leader promotion. Might as well keep going into aggressive. There's a war goal on Nigeria done. And I'm gonna go ahead and declare war on the Horn of Africa now. Ooh, do we white peace? I don't I don't really want to. I wanted to get a two and one war right here, so that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, is he going for the USA? What's what's this war? Turkish American annexation war. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and start auto capturing now with these tanks. Okay, we are moving into Algeria now. Man, you know what I'm about to start doing? I'm about to start provoking the entire lobby by just defying on everybody in it. People leave because they're bored, right? So let me give them something to stay in the game for. We're moving nicely up into Algeria land. Let's see, 33. Let's see how, let's see how our tanks do in this fight. Yeah, look at that. Tank tech, crazy. Turkey is saying, hey, South Africa. Do you want Egypt to form? Man, I kind of want to fight him over it. But, I mean, he's offering it up, so I'm sure. Can't deny free land, bro. Might as well take him. All right. There is all of the wars we need. Communism. Really? Okay, we got to get some action out of somebody. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to just provoke people here. We're going to justify on Iran. We're going to justify on Brazil as well. I'm about to just start provoking people so they stay in the game. Just to fight on Iran. Just to fight on Brazil. Let's finish everybody off here. We're going to justify on Kazakhstan and Canada. South Africa's plotting. <laughs> we are indeed plotting them. And there's Morocco. We just need Madagascar now, and I think we are good. And there goes Madagascar. We can form the African Union now. Triumph of Pan-Africanism. We have finally unified Africa under one banner. May our future shine bright. Let's check out the modifier we got here. Integration speed plus 20%. Manpower increase plus 7. Building, building speed minus 15. Resistance 25. Base stability, base stability plus 5. Let's just defy on Australia as well. I'm gonna just keep everybody. I'm just. I'm gonna just keep everybody in the server at gunpoint. <laughs> That's what we're doing here with these war justifications. We're actually. We're probably. We're actually not gonna be uh, acting on them for a while here. Ooh. Okay. I like Brazil's confidence. I like them. Don't worry. I'll come over there. It's gonna be like another year before I'm in a war functioning state. Cause uh, as you can see, we only make twelve million. We make 106 million, but everything is going to our expenses. Does he have any shipyards? Okay. I was thinking we would need to make a navy for him, but I think we're fine. All right, we've justified on the entire server. I wonder if Australia is going for nukes. Let's see. Does he have any enriched uranium? He does. He does not. Okay. Yeah, I would say we still haven't secured our power in this game. We're still kind of... We still have competitors, you know. Turkey's a competitor... Brazil could become a competitor if they play their cards right with development and research. Kazakhstan, even if they know how to factory spam, still have some competition in this game we need to clean up before we end it. Okay, nice. Australia counter justified. Okay, we got some people who want to fight. That's good. Still not, I don't think any of them have a good invasion force, so that's the thing here. So I'm still kind of just chilling. I don't really feel like I need to make a military right now. Let's get financial machine learning. We're making money now. Crazy. It'll, it'll be interesting to see who Turkey gives his land to. He said he's going to give all of his land to somebody. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, bro? Let's see if we can get up to 25 political power before this event ends. Like, dude. We're not going to be able to. Okay, then. There goes all of our policies because of a RNG event. So sad. They got to remove that event from the game. Oh man, it's so terrible. That just wiped our economy out as well. That single event. All because it's a lose-lose event no matter what. Okay, we're getting our money back up there from that terrible RNG event. 
Okay, I think we're ready. I mean, yeah, we're we're ready. We're ready to go for these countries here. Brazil doesn't have any shipyards, so I'm just going to make destroyers to attack him. Turns out, it looks like Turkey's staying in the game, knowing that he said he would leave. And let's go ahead and attack Brazil here. This should be an absolute... It should be a roll here because of our tank tech, I would say. No way he stands a chance. And honestly, I'm a bit concerned for my own safety because we don't have a defense at all. So I'm going to start investing into resistance here. One African tank versus 2k Brazilian tanks, who wins? 300 African tanks versus 2k Brazilian tanks, who wins? It looks like we win. Jeez, that, uh, that's, that's brutal. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, once we get max resistance, we're basically going to be extremely difficult. It's basically going to be extremely difficult to invade us. Looks like we're going to liberate Colombia while we're at it as well. Who's the true democracy? Come on now, right? We may have to actually fight Turkey, possibly. I don't want to, but we might have to. He said he was leaving, but it hasn't happened yet. I believe we can probably take over Australia as well. Let's see if he has any shipyards. He does not have any shipyards, so we can just make destroyers. We haven't really had to make a... Yeah, we haven't really had to make a navy. Dang, man. You know what? Australia left as well. So we have... Actually, it's just Afghanistan and Kazakhstan now, unless Turkey's staying in the game, which I don't know yet. Well then, looks like we're going to be attacking Kazakhstan and Afghanistan. Okay, we got our tanks mountain specialized. Yeah, Afghanistan's territory is... <laughs> what is that, bro? Look at that. Alright, just going to capture all. Honestly, there needs... To, there, uh, we, we don't need to do strategy. We don't, we don't need strategy. We can just beat them in numbers, right? We can just beat them with numbers. And we need to get IMF loan. We're kind of uh, in a situation here. I'm about to declare war on Japan just so we can get their money. All right, let's declare war on Japan. I want to see Turkey versus Africa. Now's the time to declare war on me. I'm uh, in debt. As I said, apologies, but I can't white peace you. I need to, I need to take your resources. It'll show me a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> that is like the <laughs> that is the most basic type of thing you could say. And we can auto capture that now. Let's check out our resistance here. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good resistance, man. Never mind. GG Ottoman Empire. Looks like we have no competition left in the game. We do have to take over Europe before we end this video, though, right? Come on now. We just got to make them pay for their sins against the great African continent. All right, we got mandatory civil service now. And honestly, we're going to be even more annoying and put on... Let's see if I can find it. Fortification Act. We're going to be even more annoying and put that on. Surprisingly, they do have more losses than us. Ooh, our leader died, unfortunate. Let's see, maybe we can get a... We got a, We got an aggressive one to replace him, okay. Leader upgrade, let's see. We got a Panzer Commander, very nice. Back to our minus 126 million deficit, and everybody has left the game. Let's just take over Europe real quick. Okay, there goes Japan. No chief judge the entire game is actually kind of crazy. We got one, but he was liberal, so that's not going to work out. And there goes Kazakhstan. Okay, I think that is all we need from the Ottoman Empire. Yes, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and disband the entire military. We have done it as the African Union. We are significantly stronger than the rest of the server. As you can see, there's only two countries on the map which have a tannish bar right here. So the rest of the countries are incomparable to our rankings because we're so high. So let's do a quick country overview right here. We're gonna go over our land first. So we obviously have the entirety of Africa. We have Europe, reverse colonization. Some of the Middle East. Don't, don't worry about the border gore, by the way. Asia, Japan, India. Lots of this. Here is North America, so we have the Confederate States, a lot of the Americas, more border gore, as you can see. We have a, I'm pretty sure this is called an exclave. We have an exclave over here. Here is South America, so we have Brazil. We are communist, so this is what the world, this is what our borders look like with ideology. A lot of, whole lot of red. Let's look at our country now. So we have rising corruption. We are zero war exhaustion. A thousand political power, 4.5 increase. 84 stability goal. 
Uh, yeah, don't worry about our economy right now. We're definitely not in debt. Here is our laws, volunteer policies. Advance the research, forced labor, fortification act, improve infrastructure, press censorship, military service act, prosperity act, public service act. Here is our leaders. We actually did not get a chief of, we, we did not get a judge the entire game, which is probably why our rising, which is probably why we have rising corruption right now. So head of government, head of research, political, political reformer, chief of staff, finance minister, general of the army, fortifications experts. Here's our economy. We're losing about as much as we make, so a minus 33 million deficit. We can easily fix that, though, by getting rid of a leader here that is causing us corruption. And there you go. We're making a surplus of money now. Here's our resources, if anybody wants to see that. I'm going to just breeze by this. You can pause if you want to. Research. Political tree. Maxed out resistance. Flexible governance, advanced policing. Let's do national identity and ideology improvement to make that look a little bit better. Research, quantum computing, aerial, nothing, economics, all of the all of the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Support, nothing, naval, nothing, tank, maxed out, infantry, nothing. Uh, let's see, military, doctrines, static lines, grand fleets, mass production, as always. Here's our leaders. We only used the we only used the army guy this game surprisingly, and this guy gave us tank attack, tank movement, and even more attack with aggressiveness. Here's our tank modifiers if anybody cares. Basically 400, 900. Let's just say that, and 155 movement. All right, that is the that is our that is the final game. We have uh yeah we have 1.4 billion people, 29 million manpower cap. Pretty good African game, reverse colonization, we brought South Africa to greatness. We brought Africa to greatness, in fact, by forming the African Union, so pretty good. Thank you guys for watching, as always, if it's daytime for you. I hope you have a wonderful day today. If it's nighttime for you, have a good night's rest, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace out. Once again, thank you for watching.